Well, there's still some way to go before the wild weather ends and the floodwaters recede, but discussions are already taking place about how to best to prevent future flooding. One way, conservationists argue, is to create more wetlands, and they say the best way to do that is to introduce beavers to our rivers so they can beaver away and broaden their flow. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin has our special report. Enjoying a rare ray of sunshine in their man-made pond, but these beavers have been more than happy at home in the wet weather too, and their cousins on a nature reserve in the Kent countryside have been doing what beavers do best, digging channels into the land. Well, we've had uh, beavers at Hamfen Nature Reserve for a little over 10 years now, and they've made quite a difference to the site. Uh, this is one of the channels that they've excavated, and the, the total length of this channel is about uh, 100 metres. So what has that done to the whole area of land to make it less likely to flood? Well, what it's done is it's diverted water away from the main watercourse. And bearing in mind that there will be a network of channels like this throughout the site, that's deflecting water from, from the main channel, and it's therefore reducing the risk of these flash flooding events that we've heard so much about recently. Beavers became extinct in the wild in the UK 400 years ago but efforts are now being made by conservationists to reintroduce them because of the benefits they can bring to wetlands. Back in 1939, their skills were being recognized in the United States. You know, it's the habit of the little animals to collect wood for their homes, and the dams that result have been found to keep the streams free from silting up. This beaver family at the Wildwood Trust in Kent is soon to be released onto a Welsh river. There's good evidence to show that beavers will put 40 times more water behind their structures, their channels, their little dams, but also they create beautiful peaty soils in their wetlands that are a huge sponge that helps soak water into the land and stops it going down streams and flooding towns and cities. So maybe there's a case for beavers being put to work here. And it's expected that at least a thousand beavers will have been enlisted in the government service before long, and all without pay. Yvette Austin, BBC Southeast Today, near Canterbury.